Even our own go-to-market is now the tip of the spear is driven by a security message because everyone is concerned about all elements of cybersecurity. Our world is all about unstructured data, so the focus is on two things which might appear counterintuitive to most people. One is, what can you do with that data, which is the value maximization, which industry parlance is called content collaboration. And then the other side of it is, how do you manage all the risk, especially since it's a cloud-based platform, mm -hmm. so risk mitigation. Yeah. So combining content collaboration and content security governance into one all-in-one platform, focusing on the mid-market, is what we do. And how are you mitigating that risk? You know, interestingly, COVID accelerated the trends of the distributed nature of the workforce. So the attack surface where each person's working from their office becomes a unit of one, literally from their home rather. Yeah. And the concerns around phishing attacks, ransomware, identifying sensitive content, not being in the inappropriate hands, over permissioning, things like that is all managed by our solution. Mm -hmm. And what new challenges are you faced with as AI is rapidly expanding and technology is evolving? We do a lot of machine learning because one of the things which is fundamental to having very good AI capability is the amount of data you have under the data models. Mm -hmm. And we have today 26,000 customers. Wow. So we have mountains and mountains of data in terms of petabytes. So we build machine learning models to be able to think like, do things like abnormal user behavior detection. Mm -hmm. Like simple things like you accessing your content from Germany and then Mexico at the same time is not possible. Mm -hmm. That's trivial, mm -hmm. but we are seeing you download a certain amount of data every day, but suddenly we see a spike. Yeah. We can alert. But then you might have people in finance who say at the quarter and month end, there's a spike because they're closing the books. Mm -hmm. So the system learns from that behavior and doesn't flag that as an abnormal user behavior. So things of that nature. I was going to say, because obviously your, your customers are across different sectors. So what's the criteria? So there are three, while we are a horizontal product, yeah. there are three industry verticals that we actually do very well at. In fact, that's also a defined focus for us. There are certain commonalities in all the three. All of those things drive the need for a solution which aids to user productivity without security getting in the way. And that's also part of our success. What would you say are the trends that you're seeing currently? So you, you just nailed it. Uh, even though we provide a platform which is an amalgamation of two things, which is content collaboration at the foundation and then content security governance, yes. even our own go-to-market is now the tip of the spear is driven by a security message because everyone is concerned about all elements of cybersecurity, whether it's network security, whether it's security related to uh, managing your content. Mm -hmm. So the concern being high and also the inexorable march to go to the cloud is happening IT is concerned, CISOs are concerned, chief data officers are concerned about how do I manage my content when it's outside the four walls and my users are more remote, more distributed. Most of the cybersecurity issues are happening not because of uh, malfeasance or because of malicious actors, it's because of lax security policies over permissioning uh, more than uh, outside uh, actors acting bad. So it's all about preventative measures? Pretty much, Basically. absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much.